New information tonight about the men police say distributed that bad batch of K2 in New Haven, leading to about 100 overdoses and a public health crisis. News 8's Amy Hudak live in New Haven now with the troubling criminal history of one of these suspects. Amy. Darren, police say that one of those men who handed out that botched batch that had people falling to the ground in cardiac arrest and convulsing had 37 prior arrests. Yes, you heard that right, 37 of them. Tonight, police are saying that while the overdoses have slowed down, they still haven't stopped. Now, many people are wondering, why was he still allowed to walk on the streets? These are the two men police say were behind the complete chaos on the green and around New Haven. John Parker and Felix Melendez have been charged with selling and handing out K2, a powerful synthetic drug, leading to more than 100 overdoses. Every person who dropped on our green, we responded to within a minute. First responders staging dozens of ambulances and overdose kits for days in the heart of the city. They'll be on the green for at least another 72 hours as the rates of overdoses slow down. They still haven't stopped, with another 12 from K2 since Sunday. We're just out here as a precaution to make sure that all the resources that are needed in this area are here. Tonight, we're learning more about Felix Melendez's troubling criminal history. He has 37 prior arrests, ranging from selling drugs to strangulation to resisting arrest. Yet, he was still out on the streets. First of all, I just don't understand, like, how you could be arrested 38 times and not have still been in jail. If you've been arrested 38 times, you're already a threat. So, I mean, I know I get the one a second chance rule, but you got to go. <laughs> you got to, you need to stay in. Honestly, I'm shocked because I try to believe in our government as much as possible. As a leader of the city, I'm concerned about that. But as a, as a citizen and a resident, I'm concerned that... Um, the, almost the catch and release type of uh, process, uh, judicial process, uh, is not working uh, to do more to uh, put these folks away. Connecticut leaders saying these synthetic drugs come from China and Mexico. These synthetics are coming across our border in higher numbers and higher potency. It's only a matter of the next dose that it will be a killer. They're vowing to hold dealers and manufacturers responsible, but some say if 37 arrests didn't do the trick, what will? 38 times wasn't enough for them, so like, now that we had to have something this big happen, now they want to try to do something about it. Like, issues just never came to this point. The fire chief here in New Haven says typically on a given day they see about 10 to 12 overdoses, and not all of those are K2. In the specific case of K2 overdoses here on the green and throughout the city, no deaths were reported. Live in New Haven, Amy Hudak, News 8.